If you're wondering what $630,000 can buy you in Arvada today, specifically the Lake Arbor neighborhood, stay tuned. I can't wait to show you this house and this location, which is just ideal. So let's start with this home first before we get into the rest of the neighborhood. So we're at 8245 Harlan Court. Now what's awesome about this spot in particular, in addition to just being in Lake Arbor, which is already a fantastic neighborhood, is that you might as well be on a dead end street or cul-de-sac because of where this property is located. It's a handful of houses right off of Lake Arbor and you're not driving through this street unless you live here because there are no through street connections in this little pocket. Now, this is a two story home with a two car garage sitting at about 2,700 square feet. This beautiful home has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, two of which are full bathrooms. The other two are half bathrooms located on the first floor and in the basement. So now this homeowner did a lot to get their house ready to be put on the market, including new quartz countertops, they painted the cabinets, new flooring throughout the entire home, engineered wide plank floors through the main level, new carpet in the basement, new carpet going upstairs, new paint throughout, inside, outside was painted just a couple of years ago, new door handles and finishes on all the doors throughout. And the layout of this house is exactly how you actually want it. In the description below, I'll have floor plans for how this house is laid out, which on the main level, you walk right in to your more formal living room, your dining room, to the back of the house, you've got your kitchen, with, you know, what will probably turn into the TV room, or with the fireplace, you got a huge pantry and a half bath behind the kitchen. Going upstairs, that's where you have three of the four bedrooms. So two good sized room, plus the primary, with the attached primary suite, another full bathroom for the other two bedrooms. Downstairs in the basement, you kind of have more of a larger great room with the fireplace as well, uh, with its own bedroom and a half bath down there. And with the two car attached garage, this large lot size, like it's literally everything that you want in a home. Big mature trees, the water heater was replaced just a few years ago. The roof was replaced just a few years ago. And you have brand new solar panels that are gonna be free and clear to the new owner upon closing. No loans, no leases on the solar panel system. Major systems in the house updated throughout. It has been a well-loved home. And as I stated, we're hitting the market at 630,000, which comparable properties in the Lake Harbor neighborhood range anywhere from about 575 on the low end up to about 750 on the top end. So we're on the lower end to be aggressive to make sure that this house moves quickly. So here we are just houses down from Lake Arbor. And I just wanted to show you this real quick because this is the beautiful lake that you can walk around literally every single morning. Check out these views. And if you just want to see how close it is to the house, look at this drive. Now, driving around the neighborhood, I want to show you what I love about Lake Arbor. So, most all the homes are going to be your typical two-story, tri-level, bi-level, uh, some ranches mixed in here, but it's an older established neighborhood. Most of the houses were built in the 60s and the 70s, so trees are all big. It feels like a nice, solid, everyday neighborhood. And if you pull up a map, actually, if you go to Google Maps, you can look. And most of this neighborhood is constructed with dead ends, cul-de-sacs, looped streets. So you really only have a few major roads, throughways throughout the neighborhood. And everything else kind of points back all towards Lake Arbor. And being that it's the focus, it really should be. And it stands out in the neighborhood. And you can see most any time of day, there's tons of people out walking their dogs, 
kids riding bikes around the neighborhoods, lots of families in this neighborhood because the houses are good size, about 2,500 square feet. Most of them are gonna have three or four bedrooms, which is what most people with a couple of kids are looking for. And as we keep driving around, you can really get the idea of how big Lake Arbor is along with all the additional open space surrounding it. And then over to your left, you can't really see it, but there is a playground here. It's all new. They're doing a lot of work on Lake Arbor right now, kind of revitalizing it with a trail system around it. And then here we go, pulling into another section. So this is on the southern end of Lake Arbor, in between 80th Avenue and Lake Arbor. And some of these homes here are a little bit newer, so you kind of get a little bit of a different feel from them. But again, it's on a circular street that leads directly back to the lake. Now, as far as shopping goes around the Lake Arbor neighborhood, it is tremendous. Every corner has some incredible shopping. So this is on the southeastern end of the neighborhood at 80th and Sheridan. And you have your King Supers. You've got Morning Story, which is a great breakfast place. Tons of shopping. You've got 24-hour fitness here. And then as we go north, we're heading over towards Sheridan and 88th. This is where you have Guitar Center. You have Choose Fitness here tons of restaurants to choose from. So within a half a mile of the house here on Harlan and Lake Arbor, you've got everything. You've got a Lowe's here on the northern corner by Sheridan at 88th. You've got the appliance factory outlet. Everything you could want for shopping is literally out your back door. Then on the northwest corner of the neighborhood, you have Lake Arbor Golf Course, which is a great municipal golf course with extremely reasonable rates tucked right into the neighborhood here. Monday through Thursday, it's 31 bucks for an 18 hole round. On the weekends, it's $40 and it's nestled all throughout the neighborhood. And now we're in the northeast part of the neighborhood and you can see it feels like kind of the beginning with mostly two stories, good size 2,500 square foot homes, but a little bit wider streets in the northeastern part of the neighborhood. Now, if you're sitting there and you find yourself having questions about this property, about Lake Arbor, feel free, shoot me a call, shoot me a text message. Here's my phone number, nights, days, weekends, I got you covered.